okay. <laughs> and in, in new circumstances. And um, you know, I was sitting there with a group of friends on a Friday night. I was like, you know, where's a good place to go out at tonight? I mean, have you ever, I'm sure at some point in your life, you're sick of driving across town, you really don't know what's going on. It's like, wouldn't it be cool if we could actually see live streaming video of inside these bars and clubs on a free mobile app? You know, so you could check out the scene before you go. And I just happened to be in a position in my life to, to actually do something about it. And so, I found a club vision. So, I mean, we stream high quality, um, uh, near high definition video to, and to Android, Apple, uh, Blackberry devices. Okay, so you can essentially check out the scene before you go. Um, just to give you an example, I was here, I was here at, this, uh, at this party, I went down with the app, and I started dancing with a girl, I took her out to, the, took her out to dance, I was like, you know, you look kind of familiar, and I was like, I th she goes, what are you talking about, I was like, I, th I think I've seen you on my phone before, and you whip out the phone, here they are streaming live, um, it's a very unique experience, okay, uh, people love this, so you uh, essentially have, in addition to the live video, this is actually in uh, Electric Cowboy, which is the largest club chain in the U.S., uh, right out here in St. Peter's. You have a scrolling text ticker. That little thing looks, you know, mm. it's, it's, it's really an innovation in and of itself. So it allows you to push real-time promotions to people um, through the app. And we have, obviously, our geo-targeting system as well. Now, <laughs> why do we think that this thing has a lot of viral potential, okay? There's two basic core needs in life. Okay, there's life and death, okay, and then there's the need to reproduce. Okay, it's not taught, it just is. Um, we believe that the need to reproduce is powerful enough that it's not going to require some kind of marketing gimmicks uh, to, to push adoption of this app. I believe it's just going to happen. Our mission is to help you find the best time possible on any given night, regardless if you're looking for a dance club, lounge, sports bar, or happy hour. Okay, it's not to show you the biggest number of choices or the biggest number of selections. It's filtered selections of where you're going to find the best possible time. How do we do that? We essentially install surveillance systems inside these bars and bars and nightclubs, high-end, kick-ass, you know, surveillance equipment. Um, the retailers choose when they want to broadcast. They pay us a per-use broadcast fee, and then we stream that video out to both mobile and PC devices. Okay. Our core belief is that people want to be around other people when they go out, not aimlessly spread out all over the country. I mean, even for those of you that are married, I mean, it's why your wife, when she gets dressed and gets ready to go out, um, she doesn't want you to take her to an empty social venue. And so um, uh, we believe retailers, and these are the models that we're testing, that it's a, um, uh, when I say hypothesis, these are, these, this is actual business models that we're testing, that retailers will pay a premium uh, if we can direct patrons to the locations on a repeated basis, not a novelty. Okay, and because we have a big enough nut to chew with these, with these uh, uh, venues, we're not looking to get our hands in a bunch of pots. Okay, we're looking to drive all the value from their ecosystem back to the individual retailer. So suppliers, you know, if retailers have the eyeballs, suppliers will have the incentive to shift all those national advertising dollars back to local in the form of broadcast sponsorships. Uh, this is advertising people actually want. Uh, we amass eyeballs right at a key point in the sales funnel, okay? Retailers are gonna, for the first time, go reach out to people right at the point they're deciding, should I go out tonight and where should I go? And that should I go out tonight's a very important category. It's like, should I go out tonight or stay home on the couch? We believe by showing patrons what they're missing, okay, there's an opportunity cost to not going out that night. So it's possible to test if we can increase the size of the market share <coughs> on any given night, which can just pretty much lead us to our core value proposition. Uh, you know, based upon what's currently available to, to retailers. You know, we're not asking you to Facebook 30 companies, text, tweet, check in somewhere, or you know, troll the radio trying to figure out where the next place to go is. We're just asking you to open up a simple app and see where you're gonna have the best time on any given night. It's going to be a utility tool, something you're gonna come back again and again for, not a, not a one-time novelty. Um, I, did have, I did have a great <laughs> illustrative uh, piece about building the team, I may have been a little inappropriate, so I'll just go ahead and, uh, but uh, MacGruber, yeah, never mind. <laughs> that um, video clip has been advised against. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why you have co-founders, you know, to help you steer right. I mean, this is the beauty of this, of this business. Um, it's inherently a fun business to be in. 
um, coming out with a disruptive technology. If, if this works, we're recruiting, we're gonna be able to recruit the top, you know, some of the top talent out there. I mean, I'm on match.com and it's amazing. <laughs> this will be filled up more with uh, more you know, highly qualified females. So we're, we're able to have uh, Brian Blanchard uh, as our uh, chief technical officer, very fortunate to have Brian, um, uh, th thanks to Jim's help. Um, we have complimentary office spaces at Lashback. I mean, this is like some of the most beautiful office spaces I've seen in St. Louis. So right off Washington Avenue, um, you know, right in the mix of everything. Um, you know, the, I'm sure some of you know Tim, we've got liquor law covered. I mean, there's a whole business model behind all this. And then uh, I've got some great advisors. We can get back to this in question and answer. Um, you know, I found St. Louis to be a desert island for you know, angel investments, and that could have just been the nature of the business that I had before, which you know, I'm willing to tee it up. But I've had to go outside the state to bring in to bring in capital, and you know, we're looking to tee this up with some additional investors outside the state very soon as well. Um, traction, okay. I'm not one of those guys. I made this mistake before. You know, I'm not one of those guys that sit there and write a 50-page business plan and try and project out pro formas, you know, for the next five years, okay. I went out and got off of the couch and went out and started talking with retailers, interviewing dozens of them, okay, with the business model, seeing if, if we had a product that they would buy. I didn't go in saying, hey, you know, we'll give this all to you for free. It's like, if the business model works, if we're able to get the users like we believe we can, okay, are you willing to pay for this service based upon these conditions? So this model has detailed, frequently asked questions which we're uh, looking to develop, we, we have started development on. Uh, so we believe when we come out with this product, um, we are going to have, you know, some valid uh, uh, hypothesis to test. Um, we, so we also have raised fifty thousand um, dollars. We knew that, you know, just by going around to customers, showing them the app. I mean, uh, it's, it's incredible. I mean, you know, people are like, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Okay, and it, I mean, that's pre that's that's pretty special. Um, we signed Alpha at Lucas Park. We actually um, uh, signed Alpha at Lucas Park, and then uh, just raised another sixty thousand dollars. Um, this is basically a four hundred thousand dollar rolling close, and this we we installed uh, some you know, high end surveillance cameras in Lucas Park this last week. Um, we're getting ready to uh, meet with Electric Cowboy to also do an alpha over there. The point is, what we're going to do is demonstrate the technology works. We're building the app. Um, you know, Brian uh, Brian and his team are building the app to be able to take it and and uh, basically start showing the bars and clubs around town. So I've been well, quite a few places. Once we prove the technology, we have some provisional patents that we're looking to, uh, to, to file. I've got another you know, uh, legal meeting on Monday, um, which will help provide salient protection against the business model. And then uh, we look to do our first beta cluster here in St. Louis, Missouri, which, is, which means we'll go live with 15 to 25 venues that represent nightlife in this area within a 25 mile radius. And everybody goes live at once. Uh, we test the model out over two months. And if, we, if user adoption happens and, and this, this works, we'll go look to raise a million and a half to two million dollars. Or we, I mean, who knows, right? I mean, if it's big enough and, uh, and, and deserves uh, a heftier capital raise, that's what we do, clearly. Um, as far as our business model, I mean, there's, it, once people kind of get past, uh, wow, that's really cool, they have all the same questions, okay? So we can kind of get back into FAQs and we, get, we go through question and answers, how to better present that way anyway. Um, but from everything from privacy rights to user adoption, this, this model is solid. Um, we have uh, high profile venues in the pipeline for um, you know, our, our, our beta test. Um, uh, I'm speaking with some of the world's largest liquor suppliers like uh, Sveka, Diageo, Absolute. Okay, I mean, uh, we have their ear. Um, so you know, as we get through Alpha, things are just gonna continue to progress. It's not theory. And what we want, we're looking for um, it was actually four hundred thousand dollars on on, on one point five money, uh, one point five pre. Uh, since we already raised one hundred ten, it's two ninety. Um, and you know, investment investments around here are possible. Uh, certainly value any any connections to St. Louis bar and club owners, um, uh, and any St. Louis casinos or distributors of liquor, Anheuser Busch. Um, you, know, I, I, you know, clearly going in at the top is is much much better way to negotiate. Uh, but we have something to value off these guys, big time. Um, our cap table, we, we believe that uh, uh, we can make the company significantly more valuable uh, if we raise the $400,000 and we're willing to, which 100 cents already been raised, we're willing to give up the 21.05% uh, of the company for it. Um, the thing, you know, with the pro forma summaries, um, I think what's important to note is that we have a large addressable market and, you know, sizable rev monthly revenue per customer. So if this goes right, you know, we're, 
we're looking at a sizable market. Um, that said, you know, I, I believe we have, you know, this is a definition of a disruptive business model, um, and that we can change the entire the, the way the entire eighteen billion dollar ecosystem markets and advertise to patrons. So I'd like to answer your questions.